So one of the key reasons why I'm focusing in this area, I'm looking specifically at open educational practices within faculties of education and realizing that um, critical digital literacies have a part to play in reducing the uh, potential cognitive load that um, teachers will face or uh, educators will face, learners will face as they use technologies, media, and digital tools and resources in their open educational practices. So I'm really looking at how cognitive load um, impacts the, um, the use and application of open educational resources. So specifically looking at the relationship between critical digital literacy, cognitive load, and open educational practices, and um, checking to see if anything in the literature <clears throat> confirms when critical digital literacy is explicitly taught or supported, will cognitive load decrease? And if cognitive load can be decreased, then will open educational practices result increase and and become more productive so taking a look at what i've done so far i've collected a number of articles around cognitive load theory and just looked at and considered how these all connect to open educational practices. I've revisited the open educational practices models that I've uh, um, looked at prior to this from, from key researchers, Cronin, Farrow, Nash and Betty and Burgos, Pascavicius. Um, I've looked at critical digital literacy frameworks. The one that I use consistently is from Henriksen and Coombs um, that I use in my teaching and looked at code breaking, meaning making, using, analyzing, creating, and digital persona and looked for connections to how does, uh, how does critical digital literacies um, impact cognitive load. Uh, particularly in the area of multimedia instruction um, from the research from Mayer and from Sweller. So I've been doing a lot of reading and rereading and trying to put all of the references uh, together and, and trying to make sense of where the relationships lie. There are a number of elements that I still need to do. Um, I have to pull all of the research articles into a bibliography um, that follows APA, so that's one piece that I will struggle over. Need to read some of the cognitive load theory articles that I've collected. I've done the abstract, but I haven't dipped in and, and gone through to see if they actually uh, fit with the assumptions about cognitive load that I'm making and I need to look for other related or relevant frameworks around critical digital literacies. I haven't done any research specifically into that area because I'm I was relying on what I, what I already know and I know that there may be other pieces that I could find. I would need to work on developing uh, def and defining the terms um, adequately and succinctly in uh, for this essay. So maybe a paragraph about o open educational resources, a paragraph for critical digital literacies, and a, and a paragraph around cognitive load and what they are. I need to build a better conception of, of the relationship between them and to see if it's if those relationships are actually supported by research, the research pieces that I'm pulling in. And I need to extend my own thinking around well, how does this impact a cognitive cognition and learning that happens for open educational practitioners, people who are practicing openly? How does that shift their cognition, their their thinking about um, who they are as learners, who they are as educators? So those are pieces I'm still struggling through.